This story is coming out of Louisville, Kentucky, 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 and shout out to Coco 2005 for sending it to me. Now, you're probably looking at this image and wondering, why do you see a picture of Muhammad Ali and an airplane? Well, it has just come out that um, there is an airport in Louisville, Kentucky that, you know, of course, that's where Muhammad Ali is from. And that airport is going to be changing its name from whatever it is currently called now to the Muhammad Ali International Airport. Now, I think that's very interesting considering the stance that Muhammad Ali has had, you know, you know, as far as, you know, with the black community and, you know, him as a person, as a whole, outside of being like one of the most phenomenal boxers that the world has ever seen and known. And it's very rare that you have an airport of all places be named after a black figure. Now, the only other airport that I know that's named after a black person is Thurgood Marshall. If you are familiar with Baltimore, there's a airport that's there called BWI, which stands for Baltimore, Washington International. And the full name of it now is called Thurgood Marshall, Baltimore, Washington International Airport. So it's like a pretty lengthy uh name but he's like the only other black person that i know who has an airport that is currently named after him it could be more but as of right now muhammad ali as far as i know is the second person that i can think of that has an airport named after him um it's really unexpected because you never really expect a black person to have themselves being named um have an airport named after them which is pretty huge you know it's almost like his uh his phrase, um, fly like a butterfly, sting like a bee, I guess people now going to be flying like Ali. So I think that's pretty um, dope. I'm almost certain that his estate is going to be getting some hefty uh, funds from that, which I'm also not upset at. Hopefully the funds get allocated to the right places and doesn't go to the wrong direction because you know how some people with their hands out like them palms to be greased. But that's really all I had to bring up about this story. It's a very short story, but it's a very interesting one. I'm not even upset. And speaking of Muhammad Ali, um, he just had a birthday that just passed. So, you know, happy belated to the greatest because, you know, at that time, Muhammad Ali was definitely one of the people that a lot of uh, individuals, especially in the black community, followed after. He also made the sport of boxing that much more interesting to watch and much enjoy more enjoyable and very entertaining but y'all let me know what you think about this down in the comments like share subscribe the links will be in the description and i will talk to you in the next one